our under 19s have done what our senior team could not. They have qualified for the next round of the UEFA Youth League, my friends. At least I think that's what it's called. Yes. They were in Group H. They move on. Wait. Wait. I don't know where they move on to, but they're moving on, theoretically, to the knockout round, I guess. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, let's let's go look at some transfers now. I, I we I haven't had them yet, but we're gonna go figure it out. Also, last chance to do who you thought the oh sorry player of the season, best player of the season, young player of the season, all the season things. Um, Tony Byrne has taken over the striker role in our formation of our overall best 11. And Dean Doyle finally took over the left back. So we got Doolin, Erich, Flynn, Doyle, Russell, White, Gleason, Witte, Thompson, Byrne, Janadu. And I, and I think uh, Dempsey hasn't taken that spot. He just hasn't been here long enough to get that. But 124 appearances, 93 goals. That is an unreal ratio, right? Um, with an average rating of 7.4. Yeah, it's pretty good, you know, you could say. Still on the substitute bench, you got McGinnis. Yep, Potty O'Connor, Captain Jack, Zach O'Neill, Marty Waters, Dylan McGlade, Gavin Wilkinson. So they've yet to be unseated from the substitute benches. Um, so that's nice. Um, Gary Hayes Ward, let's check up on him. He is with Redding, 9K a week rotation, and he's had five substitute appearances. You know, that's just kind of not what you want to see. They, 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 apparently, they'd take him for $2.8 million. Like, wait a minute. It was 900 grand. That's pretty good business. Mallow Elaine, 16 league appearances, four goals on a 6.57 for a league du team. Yeah, I kind of, I think that's going to go downhill. And Jordan Davies is still with Cardiff Met Uni, but he's with the reserves. Maybe he's getting a degree. You never know. You never know. Um, McGinnis? Okay, they're showing the play. Okay, he's still around. O'Connor's still around. Captain Jack is not. Zach O'Neill is not. Gavin Wilkinson is not. Okay. Because some of them, right, have Marty Waters are, is still with the club uh, from a uh, scout standpoint. So I was wondering if anybody else was was hanging out. In the season awards, Amir was 63%. That's a shuck. How? 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 Okay, riddle me this. Okay, we'll take a look at it. Tony Burr with 17%. Nick Robinson with 12 Signing the season 5.5. Amir, well, if he wins player of the season, then yes. And then young player of the season is Patrick Slavin. Let's go take a look at this, my friends. How does Amir, with 13 and 17... I mean, and that means he was involved in 30 goals. 41 starts, 7 subs. So that's 48 total versus 47 total for Tony because he got hurt for the last game. But he was involved with 36 goals on a 7... 3-6 versus a seven three five. I I'm not saying Amir didn't deserve it. I just think that is harsh that it was so heavily in his favor. Tony Bird is like, hello, I got thirty five goals. Now Amir may have okay, it's seven and twelve in league, and Tony had sixteen and one. So that's seventeen versus nineteen, but he's got thirteen Champions League goals. He's pretty much our only goal scorer in the Champions League. Amir's got two. Christo has got one, you know, like I think that's a bit harsh to be honest with you. I'm afraid he's going to get upset about that. And then Nick Robinson, surprisingly, I mean, he played very well, you know, maybe I, maybe I undersold him, you know, it just looked like he wasn't going to get any better. And this is kind of what you're going to get. Not that it's bad, but I, I want us to go get a better right back backup. I don't want to, I mean, unless, unless we find somebody who is just heads and tails above doing, I like doing a seven, four, seven in league, a seven, two, two in champions league, you know, I don't think he can really comp complain with three goals and five assists. Maybe a little bit more in the assists. If we can get somebody with better crossing and dribbling, you know. But he's on a key player contract for another three years. So I'm not looking to replace him. Um, that just surprises me. So, highest average rating is Paul Russell with 18 starts, 11 subs on a 7.73. Glad we kept him around. Harry White with 39 total appearances on a 7.52. Still making hay out there in the universe. Um, Derek Conway coming along nicely, so we, we got some good options. Um, I mean, it took us a while, right? It was a little shaky. Well, okay, 
this looks a little shaky, but we had a bunch of like, we had the Europa League for two games and we had some cup games. So like we didn't play all of our games there for a little bit. It took a while, but once we, once we had it, 99% full. Now that you could argue is a little bit nerve wracking because we had a hundred percent last time we're building a stadium. So hopefully, hopefully we can get that attendance number back up. That's a bit curious to be honest with you. Um, I it's, it's want to understand like how people are upset. Like, look at the dynamics with me here, okay? One unhappy player, okay? That's Frank, apparently, and I've talked to Frank, and we've been playing him. So that's, you know, that makes you nervous, right? He's on a key player contract. Um, but that's really pulled down the atmosphere, and managerial support struck down. But it's like, when, look at the social groups. Everybody loves everybody. They're all together, you know? happy. Everyone's relatively happy. A slightly happy is... I don't, I don't even know why. Promises. One. Preferred position and role. We did that. Like, we only played you as a left-back wing-back, my friend. Cathal Devlin is dissatisfied because of training, high volume of... And he wants a new contract. Okay. Well, we could solve that, mate. Robinson's leaving. That'll fix that. But just, you know, we get... Come on, Frank. Come on, Frank. You love me, baby. You love me. Come on. Come on. We we got a we got a good relationship. Um so yeah, that let's keep going. Alright. Oh, Euro group stage. We're seated third for the draw. You would think we'd move we're twenty first in the world. Who is in second? Croatia, Czech Republic, Greece, Norway, Romania, Poland, Russia, Switzerland, Turkey, Ukraine. We beat these teams. Why are we third? I'm a little upset, not gonna lie. Ay, ay, ay. So, I, I guess we're gonna find, because we're the... Th Wait, Let's see, now this is, because there's different... Let's just find out where we end up, I guess. Okay, Hungary and Malta, we've... I think we played Malta, we've definitely played Hungary in the Nations League. Alright, who else is gonna join us? Turkey? Okay. Serbia. Okay, you got England, Portugal, and Italy left, so let's go... Okay, so England goes in Group J, so that's... You can be looking at these other groups while I panic and look here. Serbia, 37th, is apparently a one seed. Turkey, 26th, is apparently a two seed. Ireland, third seed 21st i mean we have had a, i guess a bit of a jump there because of a couple of our runs but if you're if you're the hungarian um or malta Mal maltese Mal Mal malton fa's you're like oh, really like we gotta play the first seed is 37th of the world the second seed is 26th and the third seed is 21st that, that seems backwards uh let's look at the other groups. denmark romania northern Ireland, blah, 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 blah. germany ukraine sweden kazakhstan azerbaijan that looks like a tough group France, Switzerland, Georgia, Israel, Luxembourg, Andorra, Spain, Norway, Montenegro, Macedonia, Lithuania, San Marino. Yeah, I would expect these two to rise to the top there. Belgium, Croatia, Slovenia, Iceland, Estonia. That's a tough one, I think, based on present day 2030. Italy, Czech Republic, Slovenia. I, th I think we, we st I mean, based off the current rankings, we stand a good chance, right? Like, let's see what, because it always says something in the, the inbox, like, You've been drawing a tough group, or you've been drawing a favorable group, or what do you think of the group? So let's see, let's see what happens. As uh, as okay, this is taking much longer than I, you know. Usually it's just like you click next. We're in the off season, Bloop, but I forget that not everybody is in the off season. Um, Ireland wake up today knowing they have to get a result against Turkey or Serbia. They stand a chance of getting past the Euro qualifier group stage. So it doesn't say, like, hey, you've been drawing a tough group. Like, currently, we theoretically are the top dog of the group. So still going to be tough. You know, maybe the other groups are more balanced where you have, like, England in eighth or whatever it is. and then Or eighth. And then, you know, like a 20-something and then a 40-something and a 60-something and an 80-something. Um, but it, it averages out. I'm not too upset. I feel slightly underdressed. You'd think they'd give you a heads up again, you know? The Cabin Tealy Board have proudly announced the completion of the club's move to Greyhound Gaming Arena. 
During a brief ceremony at the new ground, a spokesperson of the board declared that the club anticipated the new stadium to cause a surge in support and interest from the local community, the Ultras. Grey Hair Gaming Arena in Dublin, and named after one of Cabin Tilly's greatest managers, was built in 2030. The all-seater stadium, which boasts under-soil heating, has room for 6,250 supporters, which is not enough to host European competitions, but has the potential to be expanded to a capacity of 12,500. Yes, people. Who's that? Okay, it's Golki. Oh, it's, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Wait. It's a, we can do our Champions League qualification games here. So that's progress. We weren't even able to do that the last time. So at least they can come to... Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Max with the 75. That's not exactly how we play, but beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. We'll make do, my friends. Come on! Sweeney wins Irish under-21 one, under 21 player of the year. Good job, sir. I guess we'll be calling you up to the national team. Go right ahead and do that. Considering you've got... Oh, he's already declared. Well, well. I forgot we'd already done that. But, I mean, when you look at the report, right? Like, he's... He's ahead of Tony Byrne. Tony Byrne has fallen off, my friends. I'm a tad nervous. I guess that's different opinions, but... Okay, Irish under 21. Is that... Oh, he's just Irish. Not necessarily in under 21 play. I was thinking this was in under 21 play, but... But Sunday Uze is our player that we loaned to Bohemians and wasn't happy about it. But he got 14 goals and 2 assists and 24 starts. 13 in the league. He should be, you know, hey man. We put you on the map. Martin O'Neill, Tony Byrne, Sweeney are your young players of the year. And Aaron Connolly, again, 20 goals in the league. We're not going to take him. We want him to keep doing his thing for them. But Tony Byrne and Gleason, um, right behind him with a 7-2-8 versus a 7-2-9 and a 7-1-9, playing quite well. All right, boys. Troy Parrott gets into the overall best 11 for Ireland. He's the only new addition. Okay, I guess this is the best 11 for this season, and this is the overall best 11, like, ever. So... That's interesting. Look at this. Doyle, Flynn, Slavin on the wrong side. They should switch. Maguire, O'Neill, Doyle, Hayes. They should switch. Gleason, Doyle, Doyle at the right wing. Cassidy and Parrot. Curious. All right, my friends. I brought you back. We're going to play the President's Cup. Why, you might ask? Because it's the first game ever to be played at Grey Hair Gaming Arena. So, of course, I mean, the president's going to be there, right? Like, he comes, right? It's not just the president's cup. Like, surely he comes, right? He's, he's like, in the crowd. We got, like, a box for him. It's kind of it's kind of excellent. Right? Um, I just wanted to... This is just... Oh, that's so different. From a 2,000 total capacity with 200 seats to 6,250 all seated. That is unbelievable my friends i mean i've already showed you this but i just mm, mm. We've, we've played some friendlies um and and smashed some teams from europe so that was good um we didn't make any money on them like it was like it cost us like two thousand like whatever it cost um to get them there the fee we paid them we generated like two or four grand less than that um at least from income like when you when you set up the friendly but I, I was like let's get some real teams in here let's let you know we're like breaking breaking it in right but now now our um pitch is like uh bedded in and all that kind of stuff the stadium is in very good condition because of course it is um transfers it's been mm, not great to be honest with you um let me just show you It's going to be easier, I think, if I just go ahead and show you the transfers. It's not been a lot. Kind of been disappointed, to be honest with you. But part of this is, like, I, I, like last season, people were like, holy cow, you spent $5.5 like, way to spend that money. And I feel like now you guys are going to be like, why didn't you spend any money? 
and maybe it's because I'm soft. And I just, I like, I, I like the narrative aspect of like believing in players. I don't tend to be the guy who churns through players. Like buy five, sell seven, buy eight, sell two. Like I tend to bring in young players and I want to see them develop and then loan them out. But that's also why like Gary Hayes Ward was like our first actual sale, like 900 grand. And I know in other people who play that's like, man, I sell 900 grand like every window. And I'm like, I just don't, I just don't do that. Um, so it's not been great. It's been mostly loans out um, with two signings coming in. And then uh, there's one person I re-signed that I probably shouldn't have because I'm soft. And, and I, I honestly kind of panicked. So, um, which is kind of silly, but whatever. So we still have Mick Burdett coming in. You know, right as the Champions League gets kicked off, we would really like him to continue to develop. I'm, I'm really kind of bummed that he's just kind of hanging out. He is getting, he's got eight starts as, you know, a little bit more than halfway through the season. He's got eight starts, three assists on a 6.95. He's playing a little bit, so it's not like he's going backwards. 17, though, I'd like to see some more development. But let's look at the transfer history here. Um, so we've brought in... A player, Ross Moffat, is what I'm, I'm sure it's like Moffat or something where, or, or some sort of uh, Scottish spin on those letters that I don't understand. Ross from Hearts and Neil McClelland, which I think is how you say that one, for 200 grand. So we've only spent 550 grand, which is, you know, compared to, you know, dropping whatever it was, like 11 million last time. A bit of a, bit of a, a reduction, um, you could say. So let me show you the outs. So we get Derek Redman. Um, our, you know, he was our under 19 goalkeeper because we loaned out Keith Ellis. Um, and then we brought in our, our, you know, the next, uh, uh youth intake. We got another one and he's, he's pretty decent and he was improving. And, um, I was like, you know what, let's, let's get him some real experience. And so he's gone out to, uh, Athlone town and I know it's been a while since I've been in the division. So, you know, 6,000 episodes ago when someone's like, that's not how you say that. That's why. Um, but he's got a start conceded to on a 6.8. But, you know, like, he's he just got there. He did kind of improve a little bit from a green arrow standpoint as soon as he got there. So I'm hoping that they've, that they've taken him on a first-team contract. He's going to be the first-teamer. I mean, last season, they did finish fourth. So, like, maybe, maybe there's a glimmer of a chance that, like, having a better goalkeeper helps drive them, you know, off of last place where they currently sit after one game. But, like, if how close was it last season? At 41 points. So, like, they were in the the race here, right? So, maybe maybe that helps um, and, and gets him some good experience. So, first team minutes, important for him, right? Um, Nick Robinson, as we know, has gone on a free to Norch for 6.75K as a backup. You know, is what it is. Um, we have loaned out Eros again. Uh, his star rating is down to, like, three and a half. And think he we're just gonna end up getting rid of him like he just hasn't developed now to be fair like um we loaned him out a little bit in 29 30 he got five starts eight subs on a 655 didn't really go supremely well um last season does it say he didn't play at all okay 23rd okay yeah so with us, he had five starts, six subs, a goal, two assists on a 7 0 1. Play, played in some cup games. So he's been like that backup substitute guy. I've been trying to give him time to develop. But he wanted to go there, and it was a rotation. And I didn't want that. So we, we've done a five month deal, essentially. I don't know how that ends up being five months. I, I, I didn't do anything besides five months, but okay, one plus five is six. Yes. Well, I am paying attention. Thank you. Um, some, you know, like they're not going to play him full first team minutes but he wanted to go and i was like well maybe they end up buying you you know he's kind of been a little bit of a disappointment we got him on a free so you know you, you take a flyer every once in a while uh sunday uze is really mad like he's not gonna work out like he's gonna see his contract out here we've learned about the rest of the season he once again has said my development would be better served here which might be true but he's not gonna get playing time so we've given a first team contract at waterford last season he went to bohemians and got 24 starts 13 goals on a 7-1-2 you'd think he'd be happy about that but he's not he's got five concentration he's it's just like get him away from the club to be honest with you gary walsh on the other hand um wanted to go to bray he had options but they gave him a first team contract and i was like i'm again i'm trying to send players out to where they want to go um, because, you know, happy players, I'm just in my head thinking they might develop more there. 
Like logically, that makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense inside Football Manager, but um, the, it doesn't look like he's improved as much. But he's actually, you know, he's got some friendlies in, and he's got a start on a seven point oh. He had improved a little bit as soon as he got there, so we kind of have to see. I mean, this is kind of his his year to like prove someone should sign him, whether it's us or somebody else. James Lawless has gone to Cork City. We've loaned out a bunch of players to Cork City, to be honest with you. Um, he was there last season on a rotation contract with that. No, he was with Dundalk. That's a complete lie. Um, last season got eight subs. And that's it. So we're hoping he gets a little bit more. Cork City, we have a good, we we have a good relationship with Cork City, where they've played our players. Joe Griffin, who's a, a sub par two star, has gone to Hamachenhaven. Is I'm sure how you say that. He's 35 a week. It's, he, I mean, good luck to him if he actually improves. Right, like get him some playing time. Whatever. Marty O'Keefe, who was one of our, you know, if we had like 6,000 games and we were playing a uh, like an EA Sports Cup game, I might have brought him up. I think I did a couple times. He got one substitute appearance, a cup start, and a sub. I know my players. Yes, yes, yes. He's actually got pretty good potential, 17 years old, so we've loaned him out to Finn Harps on a key player contract, my friends, and he's not played a match yet because he's suspended for the next match. Great. Way to go, Marty. Um, we've also – let me just show you the loans, right? We've re-loaned some people. So Thomas Maloney has gone back to Cork City. He Look at this. Look at this, guys. Rotation contract again, but last season he was on rotation and he got only four starts and a sub in 7.1, but he improved. So, like, there's something, like, I've had several players want to go to Cork City when they, like, when four clubs come in, they're like, I'd like to go there. So, I'm like, sure. Like, even if it's not first team minutes, because we got, like, a good thing. Going. It's like we have, like, they're like our affiliate. They're like our manager affiliate. No offense to Cork City. Um, Terry Ward, same thing. Rotation. It's an extension, essentially. But last season he got 20 starts. He got... um Eight continental starts and four subs, played a 707 to a 6.82, depending on the competition, and is improving. I think this is good. He's got two starts already in in the, the Premier League. Obviously, some of this stuff is kind of bleeding over from last season. Like they've not had eight Europa League or twelve Europa League games, you know, in the the first month of the season, right? Or the first two days of the season, whatever. But, you know. I like this, and they're using him. So it's weird to me that he's on a rotation, but they're like, yeah, we're going to actually use him a lot. Um, Fresnel's still out there. He is really improved and going to come back. Although every time I've talked to him, like when he's had like a good run of games, and he's like a 7.5, I'm like, that's really good. He's like, you think that's good? I could do better. I'm like, brother, like watch your mouth like a little bit, you know? Um, I actually probably need to extend his contract. Like, we're definitely going to keep him. Um, and he may be the replacement for Witty. I'm not sure. Um, so I'll, I'll try to remember extend his contract. Stephen Coleman has stayed out on the loan. Same thing at on a rotation basis at Cork City last season. 29 starts, 8 goals, 7 assists on a 7.1. 10 continental starts, 3 goals, and assists on a 7.0. It's a rotation. Hey, man, he's already got two starts in the league. I, I don't know. Like, you want to call it rotation and use them first team minutes, absolutely do that. So that's why I felt comfortable with that. We also have a good relationship with their manager. Like, we've talked back and forth and, you know, we're positive and, you know, all that kind of jazz, my friends. Um, and David Brady is going to see out his career on loan. Like, we've loaned him to St. Pat's for the last, like, three, four seasons. He's getting, he's getting minutes. He's getting starts. He's not dramatically improving so he'll just kind of do what he needs to do there um and that's it now let's go back so who are the ends ross Movit is a midfielder he's got four star potential i felt like the 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 transfer cost right was you know 350 grand put him on a 2.5k rotation counter he's 21 he could still improve and when you look at it like he's not ready to replace harry white or paul russell right but he's in the mix and he's younger. So if we can get him minutes and and get him into our great facilities and all that kind of stuff, I think he can develop. Um, gets forward whenever possible. Looks for pass rather than attempting to score, which is good because his finishing is a six. He hits free kicks with power. He's got a fourteen. I, I think he's I think he's he's quite good. He's quite good, lads. Um, you know, deep line playmaker kind of utilize those decisions and pass. Passing could be better. Right, a twelve. You know, it's funny that I think that, well, 12, um, 12, like four seasons ago, it's like, that's amazing. Um, but he's got really good decision making. Again, I'm not, that's why we gave him a rotation and it's a small, it's a small enough transfer. If it doesn't work out, it's like, well, we bought somebody and it didn't work out. Neil McClelland was more of a, I don't know if I should have 
bought him, but he's got his potential. Maybe his potential's dropped a little bit based off of once we signed him. But his crossing and dribbling is pretty good for 19. Really good physicals, really good mentals, awful flair. Like, flair, not, you know, we're not putting him on attack. That is just not going to work out. But from a supporting standpoint, he's 19. He's about to turn 20. Hot prospect. I kind of think he might replace Dean Doyle. Dean Doyle is kind of maxed out and not getting any better. And that, I mean, it guts me, to be honest with you, right? Like, Dean's been amazing. But I just kind of feel like, have we gotten the most out of Dean that we can? You know, and it's going to make him mad. And he's part of the national team setup. But I'm like, Neil is, he's not bad, lads. Like, it's not a huge, if you look at the comparison. I mean, he's one slower and one one less mental, right? But he's much better in the air. He's much more technical. He's two attacking, one bit, like... I think if we could fix, I mean, he's 19, fix the mentals and and maybe he develops a little bit more from a st speed standpoint. But I think like these things, that's a huge gap, right? Like he's six feet, six, six feet tall is what I was trying to say. And Dean Doyle is five foot five and can't jump. He doesn't have any Irish eligibility, unfortunately. So we're, we're, we're helping our neighbors to the north. Um, so that's the ends. The one that I probably shouldn't have signed that I did, and we'll try and get rid of him at some point, was John Smith. It's like he was three-star and three-star, and then the season started, and he drops, and I'm like, great. So we got him listed for loan. I'm sure he's not thrilled about that. He's our sixth best. Eh. But he enjoys a big match. I gave him a one-year extension, right? He was, he was supposed to – or no, I gave him a two-year extension. He was done at the end of December, and now, you know – I think he could do a job if we get busy, but that's he's also why I loaned out Eros. Um, I think I'm I, I just I don't know if we can get him some some game time to keep him sharp. Maybe he's fairly professional. Maybe can help out with with tutoring or mentoring or whatever we call it these days. Um, you'll notice I didn't bring in a right back, and so here's why. Where'd he go? Oh, he's, he's starting. Derek Conway. When we loaned him out to Limerick. He only knew, unless I'm blind, the attacking midfield role and a little bit of the midfield center role. Like the advanced playmaker in the attacking midfield center and then dropping it back. But he came back and he knew right back all of a sudden. And here's what I'm thinking. If we look at his information, he doesn't have any other eligibility. This might be, this might be a pipe dream. It probably is. But I've been on the hunt for the next Michael McGuire. And the fact that he's picked this up and he, he already is like whatever that is, like halfway, maybe not all the way to the orange, but he's like a third of the way to understand and complete wing back. I thought this is a way for us to get him more minutes because what we did last season, right? We loaned him out for the first half of the season and he got a 6 eight, five, 15 starts. That's exactly what we wanted for Derek. He's not taking over for Gleason necessarily. He could. He could develop into that. But could he be our next right back? He can't tackle to save his life. So he's got to work on that. But he's 19. And if we play the complete wing back role, right? You know, wing back, yeah, you, you do kind of need to tackle. I, I just thought for somebody that we're trying to get minutes for and we need a backup right back, I and we've got another right back coming in, right? So this is a way for the first half of the season, we can play him as the Nick Robinson. So when when we got a bunch of games of rotating our team and right back, we don't want to play um uh Andrew Dooley the, the whole time. He can come in, and then he can also come in for Gleason, right? So he kind of gives us a little versatility, and it can get him minutes. It'll just depend on what happens after Mick gets here. That's kind of the, you know, we may, maybe we switch it up and we loan him out the second half of the season. Or, or maybe, you know, he covers for Gleason, right? So I don't know. I, I thought the, the other option was to go find a loan for six months. And I was like, we've got a guy here who could do it. Let's try that. So now that I've rambled on for a good bit, I'm going to hop us forward um, and play the President's Cup. Woohoo! 5,300 tickets as we host Cork City. I mean, maybe that's not going to be normal, but, man, they're going to have 1,800 away fans. That'd be our almost our entire standing room. That's, that is our entire standing room only at Stradbrook. And then the 200 seated away fans, or uh, home fans, right? <clears throat> so we are, that's huge. That is huge. Um, 
new President's Cup record. Wow. The last record was 5,149. That wasn't at our ground. That couldn't have happened. Unless people were like, they were like large helicopters just floating, you know, holding thousands of people. That would be kind of strange, to be honest with you. Um, I left out a bunch of other things that I meant to tell you. So let me just go through. I've just pulled my list over to my main screen here. Um, hold on. Please hold. Wait for it. Okay. Other things that happened. Um, MLS came hunting. So the Philadelphia Union went after Divine, our center back. And he was like, I have no interest in going to MLS. Um, and New York Red Bulls came in for Conway, who felt the same way. I was a little nervous, right? Like, we've had that happen before where a team comes in and they're like, I have no interest whatsoever. The agent's like, hey, by the way, we're going to give them a raise. And I'm like, well, they have no interest. What are you talking about? But they didn't do that this time. We paid out $1.2 million um, in dividends to shareholders and got, uh, like I said, $2.1 million deducted for the training facilities. But we'd already agreed to that. So I thought it had already taken the money out. But I guess not. We just agreed to do it, you know, in the postseason. Uh, best-selling jerseys, my friends, because I know that's, that's a, you know, I had a great comment, right? Like, last season, it was like, I was surprised Gary Hayes Ward wasn't as popular. And and uh, uh, I think it was Retro Gamer 82 or something like that. And the comments was like, well, you know, you got to pay by the letter. And so that's really, ex his, his jersey is a lot more expensive. So um, this year, we got White leading the charge with Edich, then Witty, then Tony Byrne, then Gleason, 774 shirts total. I'd like to sell a little bit more, to be honest with you. Um, we upped our scouting to worldwide, which is costing us 802000 per year. Prior, I'd only been doing Europe, which even then we were having to bump up, uh, you know, like take some of our transfer budget and drop it into scouting. So we've had to do that again to go worldwide. Like, let's start seeing what we can find out in South America because we haven't really scouted there. Um, the board wanted to up our physio wages. Okay, they're like, hey, we want to get your opinion on uh, upping the physio wages. Let's have a let's have a meeting. So I had the meeting. I was like, no, I think we're good. I think we'd use those things for something else. And they're like, oh, really? What? And I was like, hey, I think we should build better training facilities. And they're like, done. I'm like, is that the same pile of money? Like, were you gonna pay the physios like two million more a year? Because that seems odd. But we got the money, and they were like, sure. Um, <laughs> that's weird. Um, we did sign. Um, a new contract. Um, oh, what was the comment? It's I'm just going to call him Devlin because it's not Cothel. It's something else. So Devlin, he's now good until 2034. We're paying him three grand a week, my friends. Now, why'd you go do that? You're paying him one grand a week and he was good through the end of next season. Well, he was starting to feel like it gave me a, you know, in the squad over here, general happiness, starting to feel like he should get a new contract. Okay, fine. I'll pay you a little bit more. But the problem was, Wolves came sniffing around. And they offered, like, first off, they were, like, 900 grand plus incentives. And I was like, no. Nah. Then they offered 1.2. No. Nah. Like, this was all, like, I said, no, they came right back. I said, no, they came right back. They said, no, they came right back. So, like, eventually it got up to, like, 1.6 with incentives would bring it up to, like, 2 million. I'm like, no. We, we paid 1.4 for him. He's 21. He literally just turned 21. He's going to be incredible. No. And he didn't really want to go anyway, but I was like, fine. I figured they were going to come ask him to contract. They did. And I was like, sure. And they only wanted to go from like 1 to 1.9K, but they won like a 1.3 million release clause. And I was like, get rid of that and I'll take you up to three grand. No release clause. And they were like, done. They like bit my hand off. And I was like, I think that's the phrase. Like, we don't use that phrase here. Um, I was like, done. Let's go. Um, so that happened. And then, my friends, then... Oh, can I even find it? Oh, wait, 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 it's here, it's here, it's here. Our under-19s won 4-1 with a man disadvantage for 35 minutes in the game. And Graham here had a quartet of goals. Look at all the yellow cards. We we were aggressive, apparently. This guy, 300 a week. Oh, he needs to get it. That is, you got to have better than three concentration to score a quad. In the UEFA Youth League. You, you, right? Uh, but now we take on PSG. That's probably not going to go very well. And then, my friends, um, two more things, and then we'll actually we'll actually play the game. We're up to 510 season tickets. Last year, we had 435. I'm still like, guys, we built a new stadium. Like, our marketing folks need some help. Where it's like, 
new stadium. We've been maxing it out. Surely you could turn some of those extra seats into season tickets. I'm just saying. Like, that's like, what, 75? 75 extra seasons? Come on, guys. Like, we got to fire our salespeople. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Oh, I, I I've not noticed this before. Harry White's a legend. I'm a legend. Mm. Marty Waters is an icon. Gary Hayes Ward is an icon. Oh, yes, my friends. And then last but not least, I just want us to note this so that we can keep an eye on it. Because of the giant increase in the stadium size, right? The number of actual butts we can put in seats. We had 3.894 million euros last year. I want to see what we get this year. Again, we're not going to have, if we get to the Champions League group stage or the Europa League group stage, we're not going to host those games because we don't have 8,000 seats. But all the other games, like, can we, like, will that be enough to, like, will this become 7 million, right? Like, that would be a huge difference just by getting the stadium. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. This month we got, 87,990, but I don't have anything compar to compare that to for like last season on like a, you know, early season standpoint, right? Like I could try and look here, right? But it's like, oh yeah, that really tiny itty bitty graph. Great. Fantastic. So we'll have to see how that goes again, because when we looked at the season review, it's like, we didn't even max out the stadium. We were at 99% rather than at hundred percent. Well, I'm like, well, that's kind of curious. Okay. Now, now my friends, I'm done with the rambling. Let's go play this game. Here we go, my friends. I'm all nervous that we got Conway at right back, but I'm trying to rust Dooley's at 92%. Let's give the young lad a chance to shine. I mean, it is the President's Cup. I would like to start us off with a win. I mean, right? Like, you don't want to... You don't want to start off with a loss. So, you know. I you know, I thought about doing, like... I, I, I'm just not good at the... Like, I, what do I find? A, a fake stadium and do, like, a, a skit with that? Um, but we can all kind of, oh, this is the first time we've looked at it. Let's just enjoy. It's got gray roof. Our last place had a green roof. You can see the road. Is that a, is that a crosswalk? Where in Dublin are we? Oh, it's, it's right next to like a, it looked like a roundabout. Oh, oh, I'm kind of like emotional. This is like, I've never done this guys. 51 degrees. It's a bit, I mean, it's February in Dublin, you know? You know, maybe maybe I can move in across the street. You know, maybe maybe there's a spot right there. Maybe, maybe they built me a thing in the dungeon. I mean, the basement could be a dungeon. We got our first flag up. Mm. Come on, boys. The lights are all new. Hopefully, you know, hopefully we had any technical glitches. We have we've had some preseason. We did some preseason away games. But we then we invited some teams here, like I was telling you. So, you know, I'm I'm hoping that. We got all the technical glitches out. The sprinklers don't come on in the middle of the second half. You know, those types of things. We, we got to make sure, you know. Um, oh, they're loving it, people. Oh, wait. How do I get the... Yeah. Oh, we're missing all the buildup with the sound. I mean, this is just... I'm just going to let this play. There we go. All right. Now let's get the sound. The, they got to turn the mics on. It's not that the crowd's not cheering. They're cheering. We just... We, you know, we. it's a bit of a, a, a technical glitch. Come on, boys. We've been smashing teams in preseason. I know we got one new player at right back. Surely we can handle this. Whoa, blocked. Right, you know, everybody hang out on the sideline. Do what you do. They're, they're waving to the fans. Like, hey, in this place, awesome. You guys have seats. Oh, we're playing. I did. I thought you, you know, yeah, you don't have to stay there the whole game. I mean, it's, you know, that's it. That's a nice bit of, like, low league football environment. McElroy takes, uh, you know, we, I guess we did start McElroy instead of Burn because Burn just played as well. But he's on the bench. We can bring him on the bench if we need to, boys. Come on. Come on. We're smashing people preseason. Oh, I'm like, I'm not even re remembering where to like click. I'm, like, sh I'm so distracted. I'm like, shout? What? There you Devlin. The 3,000 euro weak man. McElroy on the run. Boop. Gets past his man. And then. Oh, I mean, it was good. Good. I mean, it was good attempt. Good attempt. Good attempt. No, no complaints. Boink. Boink. Okay, McElroy collects. Pings it back out wide. White's there. He's on side. He was able to drift back, and then he punts it into the chest of the man in front of him. 
we created one and a half chances in the first 27 and a half minutes you know like that's 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 all right that's all right we, we'd like to get more on frame it's 12 and 3 is not where we want to be uh conway come on son no oh, that was going way wide but we'll you know that's why they they asked me in the in the, the build-up hey what do you think about uh oh i can't remember his name the the manager for cork city putting their keeper on the the transfer list and like he and i've got a really good relationship he, he like like we talked about he plays a bunch of our players not today um it's part of our hopefully part of our advantage um so it's like yeah i, yeah, I tend to side with the manager in these types of situations because he's not it's not like i want to track their keeper he's not very good um if he was amazing i'd be like hey he's crazy but we have a really good relationship and he's he's using our loanee so we're gonna oh oh penalty penalty Oh, we don't really have anybody that good at penalties. Wait, we're going to give it to Devlin with a nine? Mm. Mm, Gleason does well on free kicks. But 12 and seven. Come on, Sweeney. Come on down, son. I have tried. I have set specific weeks where we work on, not the entire time, but like penalties. And it, like, it just isn't a thing that we're very good at. Sweeney smacks it home right before the half. He has been really good in preseason. Like, he is... I know I talked about the guy we've loaned to, to the Belgian team coming back and taking Woody's spot, but Sweeney is... He, he's he's pushing... Oh, it's off the... Was that an own goal? Oh, they got to call it an own goal. That was a wonder goal, my friends. Look at that. Or wonder free kick. Maybe not a wonder goal, but a wonder free kick. Off the inside of the post? I mean, okay, maybe. It was bouncing out. But, I mean, what's he supposed to do? He's like, hey, what am I supposed to do? Conway gets no credit for that. Hey, it's not like he... No credit whatsoever. Are you serious? I'm very happy, lads. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I think Conway deserves like a half of an assist. You know? I mean, I guess if it had been more of an angle going in, maybe you might you might argue a little harder against that or for that. But, you know, we got a two-goal lead in the President's Cup at home. They can't use any of our players that they've loaned for us that they've been using extensively. McElroy's having a mare. Holy cow. Maybe he's the reason we have 27 shots and only seven on target. Who knows? I could look up those stats, but why would I do that when I could just guess? There are people who play this game who are like, I can't believe you don't look at all the analysis and it's like that's just not my my it's not my game it's not my game lads it's not my game we're gonna bring demob in come on son get in there um you're getting tired we'll bring in divine he's right footed we'll do a little switcheroo my friends and i'd like to get one of these two in that that's my only other thing it's weird seeing Ellis on the bench. I'm like, wait, where's Janadu? Yeah, we got rid. I, I, you know what? I'll try to remember, try, to to find out because he, he he did have a uh, whole city was interested in him at one point. Um, <laughs> I love that. But stand in your face, bro. Oh, he's tracking him down, causing problems. Oh, he chested. That was. I mean, your your transfer list and that guy was pretty good control. Edich, Thompson. White, I think this is the final run with White. He's 30. He's only rated two and a half star, but like he's played outstanding. And Devlin smacks home his first goal of the season on the on the volley. But like White is, if if I rate by current ability, he is the one at the very bottom, which is just like oh. But like he's Harry freaking White, lads. We gotta play him. Doink. I mean, I was a, that was a worm burner? Is that what we're calling up these days? Worm burner, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right, lads. All right, we're going to bring we're gonna bring in Ross, our Scottish friend. Because he plays the same role. Okay, okay. Let's keep the clean sheet at home, boys. Come on, come on. I, I probably could take it off. We can just go positive. Now they're going to score now that I've done that. Now I'm just mad. Keep it on attacking. We don't get the clean sheet. We got stuff to work on. George is getting upset. Of course, we're just interested in complacent. Now, 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 if we let them come back, now I'm going to be real. I mean, what is that? What is that? 
What is that whole situation? Why would you punt it straight to their left back? And why would he punt it straight to our center back? That's a weird situation. Both managers looked at each other at that point in time. We're like, did you like, do you, we practice how to distribute the ball. Like I've, I've picked that. Do you guys practice how not to punt it to the other team? And he's like, yeah. And I tell my left back not to pass it right back to their center back. You know, this is crazy. Things are weird. Things are weird. Uh, everyone run away from the guy with the ball. Cool. That's fine. You know, <laughs> do it. Do, do you do you lads. You do you Gleason. Plays it forward. Demov. Oh, okay. Wisdom. Thompson. Can he find? He's got two men. Mm. But White wins it. S Ross! Ross hits the bar. Oh. Oh. I thought the highlight was over, but the counter is on. They got the runner. Oh, he's on side. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And it's away. Whoa. I don't like how the second half's gone, to be honest with you. It's not been as good. It's not, I know we took off Devil and it was on 8.8, .8, but I'm just saying. Just, you know, we, we got a game of like two days actually in the league. Sean Flynn with the floater. Ooh, it was like a, a, a fallback jumper, you know, in basketball. In my head, I'm going, I don't know if it's a fallback. They call it something else. Fade away. There it is. Brain. I haven't watched basketball in a couple months, so give me, give me a break. Fade away jumper. Fade. Mm, doesn't matter. Someone step in front of him. Dempsey. Poor, poor. No penalty. Oh, crossed it back. Divine's there, though. Gleason. I did try to loan Divine. Nobody wanted him. I guess nobody wanted him for five months. Like, if I was like, hey, you can have all season, I'm sure they'd take him up. Eh, we got this thing called the Champions League we're going to need our center backs for. I may also sell Ricky McPherson. Oh, is he really upside? I don't know if he was, lads. That seems a bit iffy. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, there. He 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 wasn't, and then he was. Okay, good, good call, good call. Whatever. My friends, we're getting out of here with a four-one potentially. Maybe, maybe five. There's enough time. Come on, Ross. Okay, play it back, wise. Punts it forward. Sweeney heads it on. Not on the same page with Demov. Demov was going. The, he was trying to stay on side. He was doing the right thing. He was doing the right thing. We're not upset. We're not upset. Not upset, my friends. I've got too many windows open. Woo. Uh oh. Uh oh. Makes you nervous when the when the back line's like, "You got this," and the keeper's like, "What?" We already. We, the first time. We, you know this is good. We still need to work, right? Like something's wrong with the confetti cannons. We gotta. You know, you think you'd share it over here too, but you know, let's go around. Yeah, President's Cup, glorified friendly. It's a trophy though. President was here. Got to test out our VIP booth. You know, it's just a booth. It's not a suite. It's just a booth. Hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? Let's freaking go, boys. Why are you dis? Oh, come, come on, come, come on, come on, come on. Anybody got the pl Cathal Devlin with the player of the match? The man of the match, as it was. That's a great way. That's a great way. Woo hoo hoo. 8.82. Mm. That's just. That's just yummy. Wait. Wait. Is there a. How many? Is there a history? Yeah. Past winners, my friends. Oh, yeah. That's, that's That was a disappointing, you know. <sighs> that's. Let's look at the gate receipts. Ooh. Okay, we were at whatever, 80 something, 80 something. So it's another 70 something. Not bad. So if we had, okay, what's, oh, hold on, let's do some math. Eight, seven, let's just call it 70 something. If, 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 if we packed it out that much over 18 games, it would be 1.26 million. But then that's not counting, probably, that's not counting the cups. That's not counting, I'm guessing, the the gate receipts when you go to a bigger, like when we go to the Aviva to play Champions League stuff, that probably pays a little bit better. Because otherwise you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> but we also have, um, or if we go back here, uh, match day income, oh, a whopping 97.88, my friends. What was it last year? Anybody? Anybody? All of 198,000. So it's already 5%. Yeah, 5% in one game or... See, again, I'm not sure. It may be counting these games as well. But this is... I, I, don't, I told you I was going to look something up, didn't I? 
Yes, Janadu. All right, so we beat <laughs> Done from Athletic. Um, away from home, three 0 We beat St. Pat's two 0 to start the season. And I wanted to, I wanted to show you this because right 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 before this is the end of the transfer window. Um, we also invited Vitesse and beat them two one. They had a man sent off in the fifty second minute, and then we scored two. Thank you. Um, we also invited uh, Mets. Mets, yes, sure. Uh, with a five one, and then these teams reached out to us, and I was like, you know what? We'll we'll go do your away games. We'll we'll bring the the, the crowds to your stands to hopefully give you a little bit of money. I was I was feeling generous. So my friends, the next time that you see us will be in March. It'll be one month from now. We're taking on Malta and Latvia. So Latvia reached out because all remember all of our friendlies got canceled, and then they reached out, and I like I couldn't book a friendly, which is weird. Like I'd like to book one here, but it's not letting me. Right? At least it wasn't. What did I do? It wasn't letting me the other day. Nat, of course. Of course it is. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll book. Uh, we always get a good game with Scotland. Eh, we'll do USA. We'll have the USA over. Okay, it wasn't letting me do that last time. But they came and were like, hey, we want to do a game? And I was like, you know what? This gives us an opportunity. It's Euro qualifiers, about 119th and 176th. We could bring in a more experimental squad. I can drop Gavin again to be like, hey, bro, I need you playing. I need you playing. And then, you know, these are the huge games. I probably should just cancel this one, to be honest with you, because these are mad. Like, I'm going to bring in our best players, and off we go. Um, let's look up Daniel. Uh, it, it was Daniel. J there he is. He's at... St. Johnston, 2.2k a week. So he got a little bit of a bump. He's already had six starts, eight conceded on a 6.75, two cup starts with, you know, hey, he's the first team keeper. Good, you know, good on him. Good luck, mate. He just, you know, it's kind of, it was time. It was time, you know. So we, we, now I just need to balance. We got Keith Ellis here, and we do want to keep getting him playing time. So we've already given him a start in two subs, you know, in, end of the, the preseason games type situation. But... I may have him just be like our cup guy. And then if we're playing like a really low level, I, we got to get his match sharpness up first, but then like start him against home farm. And then depending on where, like how good some of these other teams are, right? Like um, we'll play him against Shelburne. We'll play him against probably Bohemian because they were bottom towards the bottom of the table last year. A little Derry city thrown in there. Limerick depends on how they're doing right now. They're top of the table, but there's only been one game. So that's probably why. Um, but, to be fair to Limerick, because we have Limerick fans, they did stay up. I thought they did better, but they actually finished ninth. So maybe that's an opportunity. It's like we don't want to stunt Dempsey's growth, right? Like he is, he's coming along, my friends. I think he's a gem. I think he's a gem. But Keith Ellis, we also don't want to stunt his growth, because he is pretty good too. So we got to find a way to balance that. But that's what's going on, my friends. Conway in at the complete wing back. We get the victory. We cut the ribbon at the stadium. The fans are there. We'll see you next time. Hit the like button. See ya.